What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jim and Rick, and you tuned into another episode of Extended Engineer Etiquette Man, powered by our standard producers. All right, guys, today I'm talking about Engineer Etiquette number nine, leave the partying up to the arts. Now, shout out Nina Kreese, engineer over at Music Works NYC. Uh, she helped with uh, Engineer Etiquette number 36. We revisited this one, but we got her point of view. Um, and it's basically the same, okay? If you're on the job, you know, you don't drink on the job, you know, at most workplaces. So you kind of tend to want to take that same approach and that same attitude. Now, some of us are, you know, more laid back, more chill, or even just more responsible that we know that we could, you know, have that drink, smoke a little bit, and still get the job done. My words to you is make sure you find that balance, make sure you understand your own level of responsibility, and be careful who you choose to do those with. Especially if you're working for a studio, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to come off as like this guy that's just like mad cool and just cordial and just, you know, turns up with the client and like, you just worked here. You know, they might tell the, the manager like, hey, like, you guy needs to like, you know, just relax and kind of stay in his lane. If you have past problems, you know, of any type of addiction or you just really can't control yourself, I would say give yourself an absolute zero tolerance rule. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't do nothing stupid that might get you jammed up or even lose your job, okay? Now, surprisingly enough, there are artists that might feel more comfortable with their engineer or the people who are around them and work with are a little bit more loose, you know what I'm saying? It's not like Denzel and, and Training Day was gonna, you know, not make this shit an option. But, you know, if you do have those clients that kind of want you to indulge, and if you do, then just, of course, be careful, tread lightly. Uh, if you run your own studio or if you have your own setup where you control this type of environment, ask your clients if they mind, you know. Even though this is your house, this is your studio, this is your place of business, be kind of courteous and, and be, you know, considerate to the clients. If they're going to come through with, you know, kids, uh, you know, kids at a certain age or things of that nature, try to take that into effect. They're going to appreciate you more for it. In the end, Turn up responsibly. There's always a job to be done. And make sure that you always have fun. Make sure the clients have fun. Just make sure that the job gets done. All right, that's another engineer etiquette by your boy Jill Rican. Speaking of leaving it to the artist, I just wrapped up a long session. I'm indulging myself. So shout out to all my stoners. Shout out to Raw. Hopefully Raw cuts a, cuts us a check. You see all this. We love you, Raw. Do something, all right? Follow me on the gram at Jill Rican at I Stand It Engineer Etiquette. What's up, guys? Thanks for staying all the way to the end. It's kind of like a Marvel movie. Gotta wait to the end for a surprise. As you guys know, I am giving away a free mix. I want to help you guys. I really want to work with, you know, either be a producer or an artist. Okay. Here is the simple rule: you have to comment below the words "raw life." Everybody knows I'm a big supporter of Raw Life, and Rock and Roll, what they, you know, what they do, shout out to Raw Papers. Comment Raw Life in the comment section, okay? And at random, I'll pick the person who will receive a free mix. Doesn't matter if it's a song, vocals, or a beat, whatever. Free, free, free mix, guys. Stay tuned, thank you. Make sure you guys subscribe, share, all that good stuff, man. I appreciate you guys. Jill Rican, once again.